Okay, I want to show you the Mendeley app on iPad and compare what we see in the iPad app versus what you what it looks like basically uh, accessing the same account uh, using a browser. So this is my account and my library. And so let's go back to the Mendeley app. And this is an app you can install, of course, directly from uh, the store. And you'll notice here on the left-hand side under my library, there are different folders. There's a section called folders and a section called groups. And we'll talk a little bit about each one of these. But if I go into favorites, you'll see, in fact, in each of the folders, there are different documents. Most of them are articles. They could be books. They could be websites. They could be personal documents, even Google Docs. You can link into the uh, Mendeley library. But basically, if you were to go into uh, favorites here, in this case, I have three different articles. So if I were to open up one of these, you'll notice that the article appears on the right-hand side with the metadata on the left-hand side. Now, the... The thing I want to show you here is, let's say that you want to select text and you can select the text and create a, an annotation if you so choose. Okay, and if I go back to metadata on the left hand side of your screen, you'll see uh, there's a blue icon with a book there that indicates that the document, the PDF, has been downloaded from the personal library online and has been uh, downloaded to the iPad in this case. Now if I were to left or slide this to the left I can clear this and actually remove the document. So that's, I'm going to do that now. Now it's no longer on my iPad although it still remains in my library. So now you'll notice that there's a down arrow icon that indicates that uh, you have access to this, but again, you would have to download it to see it. So let's say that I download this. You'll notice that the highlighted text and the annotation uh, are still there. And that's because in the meantime, as soon as I selected this text, it automatically syncs to, uh, to your account so that you have that information. If you want to delete, you just tap one time and you can delete the highlighted text. You can delete the the notes and remove those as well. Okay, so that's basically how you can you can go back and work with the documents, adding highlighted text. Of course, I could have accessed the same information uh, online. Let's try that real quick. So let's say that let's select some text. Oops, and we'll hit the right icon there. Test note. Now I open up or I view under my favorites. Here you'll see the, the metadata. Okay, so here I can access the same document and I can open up the document and here you'll see the test note. Now I noticed that uh, the text is not highlighted. So it could just be that it has not fully synced Uh, I use this for my dissertations. So if I go into my archive folder, you'll see all of the documents that I have. I have hundreds, literally hundreds of different uh, articles that all reside. And the good thing about the app for iPad is that it doesn't download all of the articles. So you'll notice that they're only uh, viewing the metadata here. And if I want to access this, then I would have to go in one by one and actually download that information to be able to view it in uh, on my iPad. Basically, if you go in here, this is a nice feature as well. It has my publication, so anything that you publish, you can also include uh, in your uh, Mendeley library. And the last thing I want to show you here are different groups. Now, you can create groups, private or public, and uh, basically the difference between a public group and a private group. A private group it would be only for colleagues that you're working with and would not be available to everyone. And the benefit of having a private group is you can share documents, actually PDFs, among the closed group. So they're not going to be made public, but you can 
share uh, PDFs and all the annotations and highlights uh, with the group. So in this case, I have a group called UAA EFL Research Group, and I have different folders depending on the different topics. And uh, this is one uh, particular topic, ePortfolios, that we're working on. And so you'll see here I have some documents, some PDFs that have already been downloaded to my iPad, some that I would have to force to, uh, to download. But uh, this is nice even for books that you have access to. You can create annotations and share those among uh, colleagues, in this case, with a closed group. For public group, uh, you can share references and so you would be able to share all of the metadata information for each of the articles, but not the actual article itself, not the entire PDF file or the entire article could you share among the, um, uh, the public group. So basically that's what uh, at this point the, I, the, the app looks for, like for Mendeley. It's, it's not perfect as you saw that there are a few little glitches in the sync, but in general it does work quite nicely especially if you're working with colleagues, sharing different PDF files and uh, really wanting to share those annotations and highlights among, among a group. So let me know how you're using Mendeley and uh, your experiences with using uh, Mendeley, specifically the app for mobile devices, in this case uh, for the iPad.